Poppin' Look. We outside, man. Welcome to New York. This yes, is sir. New York, man. Yes, sir. Smooth. My boy Smooth in the building. Yo, hit me. Yes, sir. We gonna jump, brother. Love, all right? All right, love. Sure. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Proper. You watching Now that's Proper. Today, special day. My boy Guala. You know the Tap in. Day one shit. Listen, man. I know Guala for years. Every time a Jordan's coming out, a sneaker coming out, or some new gear coming out, always hollering at my man Guala. Now he got the establishment, he got his store. So, you know what I mean? You know he had to come check it out, man. Yeah. Guala, talk to yeah, him, bro. Yeah, we got Boat 134, located on 134 Ultra Street. We got order limited items, order fire drip. We got some health star right here. We got some old school Yeezys. We got all the fire drip, everything laid out. One of the best stores with limited items. A lot of people don't got this. LVs, Jordan 5 trophy rooms. Moments, we got some SBs, we got some Tinker Hatchfields. A lot of sneakers and people don't even see it daily basis. A lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money. Yes, sir. So, Guala, bro, I got a couple questions, man. All right, let, let's see what, let's see what you y'all got, got going on over here. Like, what's like the latest sneaker? The latest out right sneaker now? right now? Yeah, is these right here. These are Nike Nike SBs. You know, oh, these are those, fire. Those is heat. Those heaters came out like two or three days ago. You see? Some, one thing about you, you credit. I would have looked at these and I wouldn't have think like these is hot. Nah. But that you telling me, I'm going to believe this, it. This is like a LA sneaker. This is a Crenshaw like SBs right now. Okay. We usually get things early. Like if these come out like last week, we had them a month ago already. Yeah. So this is like this is like one of our things in the store. We always get shit a month, a month and a half early. Right. So everybody want to get it early than everybody drops. You know what I mean? It might right. be a little more expensive, but people want it because it's early. You know what right. I mean? These, these like, funny, like these right here is Nike SBs. Ooh. But these is the orange lobsters. We had plenty of these. This is a special box lobster. Yes, sir. Only, only in concept. So we had a lot of these. We I got crazy. those. I got these those. Oh, hi, hi. So you know we from the Bronx, right? Yes, sir. A lot of people don't got these. Ooh. Terror Squad Air Forces. Hold you know on, Fat hold Joe. You know Fat Joe. Fat Joe, I need a pair of these, man. You I know? see you dropping them off the cam. Uh, Jim Jones Davies, I need a pair of these, Joe. Yeah, you know those, what I mean? those is crazy. Then again, I'm here. I might just, you know, I'm yeah. supporting bottom right here. Let me see that. And we got the, we got the black and white ones that you see everybody with. Oh, that you see that he yeah. running around. Mm -hmm. so yeah, but but he be giving out everybody these. He be giving everybody these. This is more like an exclusive mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. A lot that's of people hard. went crazy for these. You know what I'm that's saying? Hard. This is the one that he said. Icy. Ooh. Icy with the tongue. This is the one right here. Word, this is the one he went crazy with. Word, man. Those, so, like, you know, that's, that's where we from the Bronx. So we started from there. This is where the sneaker shit really came from. This is where we started, like, really appreciating shit. Yeah. Coming up from the Bronx and shit, you know what I mean? You know, we from the X. What, what, what part of the Bronx you from? I'm from 174, Bronx River. Oh, man. Word, from, from, the, from the hood of the hoods. Yeah, yeah, that's We're heard from the trap, I can't lie. Word, word, word. We're still working, though, you know what I mean? It's motivation. Coming from the BX, like, where'd you get, like, how'd you get your fashion sense and all that? You know what I mean? I feel like, I can't lie, as a kid in junior high school, yeah. you had to get flea with the feet. Like, it was Ooh, always a feet thing. That's a fact. You I know? was always on my shit. Man, yeah. my, my brother that I went to school with, that's my brother for days, yeah. J Tips. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I, grew up, I grew up with him. Like, that's my man from junior high mm -hmm. school to high school. We went to the same school. Right, right, always right. had the fire feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen it. I you know, like, we spanned it. So, uh, Spanish niggas, we always wanted the, like the, the fire Jordans. We was always on the Jordan yeah. wave. But then it was a time when Jordan's fake died out. Like it was just foams and shocks. Yeah. Remember yeah. the time everybody I remember it that. was a shock. I started foams. getting dunks with that. Like, like I started rocking the, the SBs. Yeah. I started yeah. Rocking everybody started rocking running. it. So yeah. I feel like in the Bronx, you gotta get flea. Like everybody yeah. in the Bronx really wanna get flea. That's the that's the object. We could be five dollars in our pocket, but we flee. We feel good. That's you know fact. that. You know that. I was there. Straight, straight, I was there. Straight Bronx. So it's like, I feel like I did this sneaker shit because I didn't really have money to buy every week a sneaker for 300. Right, right, 300, right. 300. So I felt like, yo, let me, right. if, I, if I buy 15 shoes and I make my little PC profit $50, yeah. I could buy my own shoe to wear and I'd be good. It's come out free for me. Right, right, That's right. why I fell in love. And then when it's releases got better, making more money, you start seeing like, damn, I can make $300 off a shoe. Word. Get 10 shoes, that's three Word. racks. Nah, I gotta get in this. So after that, I just started just going heavy. Like, wow. this is my thing, you know what I mean? How, so, how, how you think like the, the reseller game change the whole sneaker game, I, bro. I feel like the resale game changed the sneaker game when like the apps came out. Mm. You know what I mean? Cause now it's like- Sneaker be, apps and be, all that. Before when I first started, we could put a price on everything. Yeah. Now it's like, you can't put a price on a shoe no more. Yeah, 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 everything yeah. goes with a market. Like now yeah. it's like, if the shoe come out, the app got a price. 
Before, it, it, these shoes, let's say these shoes right here, right? Yeah. These shoes going for 325. Yeah. Before, when it was no app, it was eBay. Mm. So now you could just sell this shit for well, 500. Whatever you want. You could sell it for 450. Now it's over. Now you can't sell it for no more mm. because the app got it for that price. I got it for that price. So it was like they got a little market. They got a little market with. now. Before in the game, it was like, we didn't know what the price was, so we could yeah, probably yeah, yeah. Under, we could probably undercut ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Because it was buyers outside. We probably outside us to buy it for two fifty. Yeah. And then now we know that in flight club, this is going for five hundred, and we don't know. I so that, that's what I'm saying. Like resale market, basically, it's a lot of more resellers than before. Yeah. Before it was only like select few. Now since Stock X came think, out, think the game is like watered down. The game is a little bit watered down because mm -hmm. Stock X. Okay. Because okay. before you had to have your own clients. Yeah. Or you had to have enough money to put your sneakers in stadium goods mm. or flight club. Mm. That's why it was like different. But now it was like so much resellers because you could press a button and then and sell it on the app and get your money in your account. So now it was crazy. like they don't care about it. Before you think about, oh, I got two bands yeah. and I'm about to spend two bands on this mm -hmm. and I got nowhere to sell it. Right. You think about it more than before. But now you sell you sell on the app. You sell ten shoes and you, even if you make ten dollars, you just have to get the money back and make a PC. Understood. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, so the gotcha. game is is fake. It's fake watered down because there's a lot of releases too much. Yeah. Like we like Nike and all these guys. Yeah. When they make a hot shoe, they start coming out with too much colors. Too much colors. You seen the foams? Remember yeah. the foams? Yeah, yeah. They, they made see. a thousand foam colors. Nerf ball foams, Spider-Man foams. They violated. All types of themes and they shit. They violated. That's yeah, why. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Even with like when the, the shocks came out, too much colors. Yeah, yeah. You know, Vic Maxes. They violated the Vic Max. Too much oh, colors. Super. You know that's what they do. They, they 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 take. Now look at the Asics. The Asics is coming out now. Yeah, everybody me so. everybody messing with the Asics. So now they see. Everybody must be A6. That's what they Snoop had on when you yeah, came yeah. in? They, yeah, they, 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 they're gonna start yeah, making yeah. a thousand million yeah, colors go until that she way. get watered down. You got riding you know on I me mean? when the wave By is the wave, going. Yeah, yeah. When the wave is going, that's where you got. That, that's, a, that, that's about the, the, the sneaker game is about that as well. It's about the wave. Taking, taking, making sure you adapt when the wave comes, yeah. you gotta do it. Because at the end of the day, the next thing is gonna be something different. Like if people caught on late to new balances, yeah. New Balance is quiet right now. Nobody's yeah, really yeah. caring about New Balance no yeah, more. Yeah. Everybody on Asics. They got but, some new little shit. No, 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 shits. Yeah. But I feel like the New Balance had its wave it like a little wave. time. Facts. But now it's Asics again. Okay. Like people used to come here ask for New Balance a lot. Yeah. Now people come ask for Asics. So it's okay. Like, and it's coming to that running thing. Like you see, look at your shoes right you got though. Yeah. Those are running comfortable sneakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Everybody's into that running comfortable sneakers, and those are the most fires ones. Ah, oh, appreciate Rom it. Romero's. Everybody like Romero's. Like we yeah. have the, you know the Romero's over here. There's no more Romero's, right, bro? Now, we have the Vermeero Supersonics. Them shits is fire. Those are the glow in the dark yeah, yeah. Supersonics. But right now, it's like, it's all about comfortability. Comfortability. It's all about comfortability. The sneaker game changed. Shit. Back then, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear a pair of A6s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, me either. Would you be like, yo, I'm gonna get free A6s? Nah, we wasn't doing that. Would you be like, you're gonna get free New Balances? Nah, I wasn't doing that. We was making fun of people with New Balance A6s. But now, now is is the new generation. Trends, I wouldn't even wear, trends. I wouldn't even wear those back in the day. Yeah. Vermeero sneakers. Them shits look like some shits from the outlets back in the days. You know? Yes, sir. Little $100 sneakers. It's the trend. Trends, bro, we gotta like people the trends. just follow the trends. You can't hate on the trends. It is like what it like is. right now, even with the, the clothing, everybody's into that streetwear where it's like big, big designs. What's what's like what the hottest brand right now? The hottest brand right now is Hustle. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go see what the well, let's see. That's, this, that's the hottest shit right now. Out everybody see, rocking it. Everybody rocking it. Look, these are the Hellstar pants I got on right now. With the little buttons, these are so Ooh, fire tracks. I ain't even see those yet. Yeah, the Hellstar shit, the oh, tracks on me. it. Those, those me. is crazy. He's crazy. Those but look, those me. You see what I'm saying? These are the good shirts with the big, Yo. big designs. Everybody's on the way right now with That's big designs. Fire. And That's good, it's fire. the new capsule 10. And it's, it's everything is going down. Like good hell stars. Like good it's almost like a graphic tee. It's graphic tees, like some yeah. straight. Back in the day, it's graphic tees. You know, I got a few of these. I got a few. Everybody, of these. everybody on that con. That's a Post Malone shit right there. Okay. Post Malone collab with the hell stars. So it's like fire. Everybody's on that wave, and I can't fire, lie. Fire, fire. Right now with the resale game, the the clothes is tr is transitioning now. Yeah. People are appreciating more clothes now. Back in the days, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you go to a, like one of them sneaker shows. Yeah. A nigga, a, a person will buy ten thousand worth of shoes. Mm -hmm. Now they go spend ten thousand worth of clothes. And clothes, yeah. So people appreciate clothes now more than sneakers. So you gotta get your money if you hurt. <laughs> I mean, if you want to stay fly, it ain't, it you ain't, want the latest gear, you want the latest kicks. It ain't no, work. it ain't no more getting free with the kicks. You gotta get free yeah. with the kicks. Yeah, the pants. The I shirt. noticed that. You noticed I that, noticed right? That. Yeah. It's different yeah. now. It's yeah. all. Everybody got to look. These are the new shorts came out. These yeah. is tough. These Ooh. is like really tough right here. These is the, Miami vibes. The good, I might need these. <laughs> Miami vibes. Hoochie Miami. daddy, Hoochie daddy vibes right here. I need these. Yeah. We gonna Those is good. Those is good right there. I'm not gonna lie. Those is good this. shorts. Yeah. You know All what I right. mean? But it's, it's a lot of stuff going on. Like we got other brands. Like we like we like messing with upcoming brands. Right. Like it's upcoming brands that come to our store. Yeah. And show us love. So we gotta show love back. You know what I nah, mean? Feel it, feel like it. this is my man right here. This is my man Pet Crew. Pet Cr
Vonnie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good shirts, you know what I mean? Everybody got their own shit. Yeah. It's my, my Dominican son, he got his shit called Crave. People come here, shop for the Crave. Yeah. You know, regular shorts. We, 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 like, we like bringing brands in here. Yeah, yeah. We like bringing brands, upcoming brands. Yeah. Just come shop with us, because you know what I mean? Like, it's all good. Like, you look, it's plain good. Like, it's plain. People like little plain shirts, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Facts. So we like we like fucking upcoming brands because at the end of the day, because if we make you pop, they appreciate that we let them in the door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, you got a lot of feet pieces on this. I see you got the Callaway, the best joints. God, what's these joints right here, bro? Which ones? Which ones? These little Damien, um, LV looking. Those some. Oh yeah, these is crazy. Louis Vuitton shit. Last drop, graffiti, LV, Air Force, high top shit. Some shit is crazy. Check out, boys. It's like a bag, bro. Like a bag. This is listen. Old school bag. Big drip. That's a real bag right here. This something that might be a car. Yeah, it might be. Might be a car. Jeez, Louis Vuitton, Air Force. Yeah, those is crazy. Since we on the sneakers, go I gotta ask you, my brother. Yeah. Big question right here. Uh. What's one of your favorite like sneakers of all time? My favorite sneakers of all time, I'm gonna show you right now. Oh, you got them here? Yeah, man. Bet, bet, bet. He's got, it, yeah, it's two of them, I can't say one. Okay. It's two, but it's the same one. If you gonna see, you gonna see, you gonna see. Wow. Yeezys, man. When Yeezy oh, was Yeezy. Sheesh. When Yeezy was these, Yeezy. These before the Adidas. When Jay-Z first signed them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These when Yeezy was Yeezy, these one of the best, I think, sneakers of all time. That's how I feel like. This is one of my favorite sneakers of all time. Like. Like you couldn't really afford these back in the days. Like I was trying to get them. I asked my mom, begged her, and to this day I still want to buy them. But I'm like, mm, I, five thousand. How much are these going for? These are probably like a eight thousand right now, yo. Eight thousand. These, these are probably racks? like seventy five hundred. I'm gonna show you was like I'm gonna show you like fifteen. Yo. I'm gonna show you a fifteen thousand dollar shoe right now. Red October's. You know this is this is like an iconic shoe. I heard somebody telling them. Those are like fifteen. Fifteen like bands. Fifteen bands. Throw on your feet. 15 bands. Wanna look bloody? That's the bloody way to Yo, look. Yo, this could be like a little. <laughs> Yo. Sign, Yo, sign this like is this. crazy. And these right dead stock, these ain't used. Sheesh. Uh, I'm, gonna just, brand I'm, gonna new. Hand, I'm gonna hand you those back nice and sturdy and neat. And yeah, but these are one of my favorite shits, bro. Like, all yeah. the fly, all, everybody who was fly back yeah. in the days yeah. had these. Yeah. Like, if you was fly, you had Yeezy tools. Yeah. Like, it don't matter. You you was fly. You had these. There's yeah, no yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. There was no way you could have those. Like I, I was just trying to get my money. <laughs> me up. too. I, I ain't have them. I was still wearing Jays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really wanted to wear Yays, but these I was wearing Jays. We, we admired them though. Yeah, these are different, bro. This is one of the man. Look, look. You can see everything about the sneaker. Look at this shit, bro. Like this they don't make sneak, they don't make sneak like this no more. Yeah. It's like it's all where they, they mess up with crazy. the material. This everything's brand new. Beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful shoe, bro. It's something that it's like a come on. It's something I always want to wear. It's gotta be like a like when I turn older, I, that final shoot away on your feet it <laughs> might bust, but it is what it is. Facts, that's the one. The bubbles. You know, you know, my store is called the Vote. My man, I'm still crack. It's called the Vote 134. So right now, like we try to make something to feel like when you oh, in the yeah. store, you in the Vote. So we made two glass. Oh shit. So this, this, this the Vote right this here. This the Vote right here. You in the Vote. Shit, gotta, that, crack, gotta crack the code again in this. Yeah, bitch. that means like it's straight heat. Like you know, everything over here is basically like over like two thousand. These are six racks, off-white, RP Virgil. You know what I'm saying? We got these, Fragment Highs, Travis Scott's. These going 2,500, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't be touching these shoes. These is Fragment Lows. These are not for resale. A lot of people don't know about these, but these only came out in LA. LA exclusive Jordan store. These is like, you're never gonna find these at all like in different stores. So, so boom, being that this is like the vote, this is like the exclusive area, the sneakers yeah. that cost, you know what I mean? A grip. Do I like a lot of celebrities or famous people come here? Right? Yeah, they, they come they come and shop because they always want shit yeah. that nobody has. Got you. So they come here, they shop for the more expensive shoes, yeah, yeah. and they come through and buy it. And they yeah. like they like dealing with like we get shit early. Like we yeah. have stuff like Fat Joe's, a lot of people have yeah. a lot of people have selection. Yeah. We have all size runs, you know, like this. Size. So these we have mass sizes. Like we're gonna get more stuff on the way right now with more expensive stuff, but it hasn't yeah. been nothing dropping lately. Okay, okay, okay. You know okay. what I mean? But like we have the LV Air Force in those cases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But these like basically the shit that niggas want to see. They right. want to see that. As soon as you walk yeah. by, they, you look at it like, nah, that, that's it. This is it. We gotta go in. This is it. We gotta go in here. Who would you say is like your top three artists right now? Top three flyers artists. Like top three artists that you know where they always, always got that, that you shit. Go, on. If you go and you look always at him got that shit on. and be yeah. like, mm, damn, we gotta go. You know, my man Jim Jones. Capo is my man since back in the day. Shout to Capo. Like, cause end of the day, it don't matter what he wear. Like, yeah. it don't matter what Facts. he wear. He throwing it on Big the right way. Center. Like, he did the the chain on the jeans. Facts. I, I see me? it. Rockstar. Rockstar shit. Like, he gotta be one of the flyers. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
It don't matter what he wears. Whatever he throws on, he could be thirty dollars jeans. He make that shit look like a shit a thousand. Yeah, nah, you know what I mean? Fact. Jimmy, shout out to Jim, Jim Jones. Jones man, man. I ain't gonna front. Growing up, that the whole Dipset yeah, era. Yeah, era. You know, Joel used to have the handkerchief on his head. Yeah. You know nah. what I mean? On some straight handkerchief, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. niggas used to really go to the store, man, buy, buy paper towels, and throw that shit on their head like I they was really fleek. That was fire. You know, that's I, back I in the days. That shit once. I ain't that's back lie. in the days. I definitely did that shit in high school. Come on, that's back in the days. They cam had the pink. Niggas, niggas was airbrushing the Timbs. Icons. Air, there was airbrushing Icons. Pink Panthers on a Timbs. A grown man wearing pink drums. Bro, I was, I was, came, old, I, I was getting my Air Force Ones and my my my, my Timbs, and I was looking for artists. To yeah, do the airbrush. no kid. It was a nice. wave. Out of, I, that's one of the who, who flies out of what? Who, the second who else fly is? Um, like right now, who's like you know they always got that shit on. You know, little baby always got that shit. on. Oh yeah, little baby drip. He, oh, he Drip's always got that shit on. Yeah, he always got that shit on. And it's not like he got it on. He got it on every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sweatsuits. And he rapping about yeah, it. Yeah, he rapping about it. He sweatsuits. Yeah. He rapping about it. He getting free. Facts, 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 That's facts. one of the second ones I, I feel like. Yeah. The Shout third, out the, the third, the third one that get free. Yeah. Damn, I gotta be, I gotta be the artist that I listen to, cause I gotta, yeah. I gotta listen to them to me really feel like yeah. they get drippy. Like, I feel um, like a boogies in them, maybe. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. a boogies one of the top, yeah, one of the flyers, like, cause he was one that really bring a Murray's, a Murray's. Niggas really rock a Murray's, even though you know Joel threw a little joint on the Instagram. Like, yeah. I've been doing the Murray's before Murray. But you know what like, I mean? You know yeah. what I mean? I, I, that's yeah. I feel, he, I feel he, like, so he I, showed the, I've been he around, showed the Murray's. So I, see, I seen Joel's really have shit, shit first before, yeah. But you know, you know. But I feel like a boogies one of one of the best. Cause mm -hmm. A Boogie be rocking shit like Capital. Yeah. He rocks shit that people like like. Like he yeah. likes wearing whatever. Like right now he he wore a, a pet crew jeans the other day. Oh, okay, okay, and okay. And it was from the store and people looked at it like, oh, this shit is fire. Yeah, yeah. Cause he had it on. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I feel like yeah, like A Boogie, fire. you know, Jim Jones and Little Baby's like one of the flyers. And then Little Baby always got the, the fire feats too. Oh yeah. Like he always got the, oh I can't lie, I gotta get one in person too. Offset. Oh yeah, it's flea. I be seeing with Quavo. sex records it's flea. and all that. Yeah. Cause they really they come, different styles they, really, they really like rocking OGs. Like yeah. they like rocking yeah. shit that came out in 2018 facts, facts. that nobody got. Real so, sneakerheads. So, so that's how I feel like those like be one of the most flyers. Other people just be wearing whatever. Like Drake, he's a he's an icon artist, nigga. But he rocking like shit that like he rocking shit in the back. It's called archives. He like mm. archive clothes. Okay, okay, okay. He like okay, shit okay, that okay. came out in 1880s, yeah, 1890s. Yeah, 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 he like rocking shit like vintage, maybe vintage, kind of sort of, yeah. vintage shit. Like, that's yeah, his yeah, swag. I get, I get it. But that's a new thing. Yeah, people yeah, rocking yeah. vintage we'll clothes. Take it. Yeah, we'll take. You know it. what I mean? Right. So that's how I feel like the top five, top five. Flyers. Yo, could I um when, when when the design is ready and set to go, can I bring a like a box you, for you to get ready? You, you gotta bring I'm it. I'm good. It's like for baddies. Oh, yeah, you don't worry about it. You gotta yeah. bring it. You know what I mean? Good? I can bring you it. You gotta bring it. I'm yo, I'm you certified. Oh, say no Sucker more. for baddies, man. Sucker for baddies coming it? soon in the vault. Coming you know soon in the vault. Sucker for baddies, man. Shit. What you got going on over here? Ah, right, look. Yeah, this, no. this, this is one yeah. where we Another at right now on vault. Okay. We have both 134, but this is this is one of the boots right here. If you were a basketball player, yeah. you growing up, you know who you like to see. Right. Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My man Kobe. You feel me? These are Kobe pack, faded black pack that came out only in House of Hoops back in the days. Wow. So this is like straight. This is just straight a Kobe line. It's 13 Ooh. pairs that he came snuck, out with back to back. It's not that Kobe line. These is like the, this is the 13 shoe, the last shoe that he came out with. This is when he scored 60, his last game. So I got a funny story with these shits, right? Asian nigga had like eight pairs and he calling me. These shit's yeah. only doing 300. Okay. I'm like, yo, bro, give me 300 for the shoes. Mm -hmm. He like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, he, he know. He, 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 he know. Mm -hmm. Kobe, scored a, Kobe scored 60 points the last game. Mm -hmm. Yo, bro, I got 100 missed calls on my line, gang. Yeah. So I'm like, what's going on? I think yeah. something happened. Something yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, Like, yo, can you bring the shoes right now? Can you bring the shoes right now? So I'm like, what's going on? What's going he said, it's got to be funny. Just happened, yeah. I checked eBay. Random. Yeah. A stack, everything shot up. Fifty hundred because he scored a sixty joints in the last points in these shoes. It's the crazy. It's the story behind the shoe. The story behind the shoe be a lot. I can't, I can't lie. You know what's crazy? I'm gonna say a person, right? I got a lot of personal shoes, so I really got my relationship with every sneaker because I really put in the pain in front of them stores to get the kicks. Yeah, like I don't only buy kicks, bro. I've been in front of them stores like doing this. I really came from the mud. I've seen so it. So this is something that I appreciate. Like if, right. I, if I go in the store, I know I put in five hours, yeah. six hours, seven, eight hours outside on the line for a sneaker going for 1500, but I put in them hours in. Yeah, you put them hours so in. I put them hours yeah, in. Yeah, and yeah. I have my, my people with me. Special. And so it means something to me. All this Special. shit come from the ground. Like this shit, came from, from, this shit came from the store. Literally. Like outside stores, getting sneakers, buying sneakers on people. Yeah, and just, yeah, yeah. And just, just risking the bread. Like I'm a risk it, cause I know these are gonna go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So this yeah. come from the, yo bro, you seen me from the, tr I've been selling sneakers in my trunk from you for years. Facts, I've been, listen. Before Miami. And still doing it. Word
Yeah. I saw, I saw I was selling brand new sneakers since Hyundai. Oh shit. And and Gun Hill. Really when, he, when he first was just doing um account accounting oh, for the, for okay, the shit. Okay, okay, okay. And then he's telling me like, yo, bro, I'm gonna get my own shit. Mm -hmm. He told me when I first started selling sneakers. He like, like he like, bro, I'm gonna get my own shit. And yeah. Brandon was just like a person just doing accounting. Yeah. And look at him now. It started from the mud. Shout out to Brandon you know, Method, man. You know, that's that's word, I, words of wisdom. I knew right him. There. I knew my son when he was. Yeah, in, in, in the office. In the office, word. Right, and doing he, the numbers. And he's still doing his thing at yeah. a massive scale. Smacking, you know yeah. the vibe. Yo, yo, you know what's crazy? That's the brother. There's some girls in here right now, too. Uh, I, got, I, got a, I got a quick question. A little bit. Uh, like, rather now or when you first started, yeah. like, you know, being that you always had, like, all the, the exclusive yeah. drip and all you had all mm -hmm. the gear. Like, girls ever, like, offered you, like, some box for a discount <laughs> you know, or like, some shit like that? I'm not going to lie to you, gang. Yeah, yeah. It comes with the it shit. Comes like, with it. But you got to really... I, Put business yeah. in front. Yeah. Because then after that, you're just gonna feel like yeah. you're just getting sucker. Ain't gonna break your own like pocket. You said sucker. Yeah, sucker for baddies. baddies. But hustle is sexy. So yeah, you know hustle. I mean? We gotta hustle. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, I just felt like sometimes, like you can show love. Cause under the day, look, yeah. my brother in law, yeah. niggas don't know, it's yeah. Mr. Gabriel. Okay, shout out to Gabriel. That's, that's my brother. He's my, my, my brother in law. So he, yeah. he basically helped me out with this shit. Yeah, and yeah. I always tell him I appreciate him. Yeah. He had a bunch of strippers at his. Photo shoot. Yeah. It was a star tennis shit. Yeah. He was doing a fo photographer. He's like, bro, mm -hmm. I got a proposition for you. Come mm -hmm. through, mm -hmm. give all these girls discounts on the sneakers, mm -hmm. and they're gonna shout you out. Okay, okay. I'm like, cool, the sneakers going for 260. Yeah. I give it to them for 220. Okay. I'm losing 40, but yeah. I'm building my brand. Because you're getting a shout out. I'm so getting a shout out. At least you're getting something. Yeah, I'm getting for something. The... Yeah, so probably give me like 10 sneakers. I only lost like 400, it's mm -hmm. nothing. But mm -hmm. I, I built a brand and I built a customer. Yeah. I gained a customer. Yeah. So it, it all works out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's why I always appreciate shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. every day I'm like, yo, I sell sneakers, but I'm never gonna act like I'm somebody I'm not. Mm -hmm. I always remain mm -hmm. humble mm -hmm. and appreciate everybody who took me where I'm at. You know what I mean? Real shit, my boy. All day 24 7. I'm a man, so damn, bro. Like, you have any advice for anyone who's trying to open up a store. sneaker store or store or anything? Like, what kind of I, advice do you I, did it? I, I you live in proof. So I was like, give some, I feel give like some the words of wisdom. I'm gonna give to people that open the store. Make sure you feel like, make sure like you can feel like the price of the rent you do is benefits you. If you feel like you can do like numbers, you gotta figure out how much rent you're gonna do. If you're gonna hire that, workers, that. or you're gonna like, you gotta know what's the uh, and the area you at. You gotta know what mm. area you at. Location. Uh, location everything. is everything. So end of the day, you're gonna know like uh, I'm in I'm in the suburbs or I'm in a I'm in Manhattan where there's traffic. So you gotta yeah. understand where there's traffic at, and you gotta always be consistent. Even if you're only making thirty dollars a shirt, full out shirt, you always gotta have it in the store though, because yeah. you can't lose customers. So end of the day, consistency is key. Yeah. Consistency is key, and always keep your mind on the new the new thing. Like right. you know what I mean. Never stay like. That, you know right. what I mean? That's why I feel like if you a new guy trying to open a store, just be focused, yo. Just right. be focused, because this is not right. easy. Everybody think this is easy, sign a sneaker. You gotta build customers and relationships, and you gotta connect with people from other 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 states where they get sneakers, and you gotta get the new shit. So I just say, if you wanna really take this serious, you can't be one foot in and one foot out. You gotta be all the way in. Mm. That's how I feel, bro. Now, yo, it's my boy Guala. Right here, bro. You already know what it is. Volt 134. 134. When you, whenever you're in New York City, check it out. Log on, blog on, holla at him. He's going to get you right. You know proper. Tap in. Now that's proper.